Hello everyone and welcome back to Kids Coding Playground channel. Uh, today we'll be making a new game called Penguin Flip. This is more of an uh, advanced uh, topic uh, on Scratch. Uh, it will be require you to have a good knowledge of Scratch, uh, basic Scratch programming. Um, if you do not have it, I will not recommend this game yet. Uh, you can check out the beginner and intermediate lesson. The point of the game is to make the penguin uh, flip up into the air and land it onto the iceberg. So every time the penguin land onto the iceberg, you get some points. So the score will go up. So we try to get the penguin onto the iceberg without dropping him into the water or hitting the edge. If you drop into the water or hitting the edge on the top or the side, then the penguin will lose the life here. So as you can see right now, the penguin has three lives. So we want to keep the penguin off the, from the water or hitting the edge. We want to try to get him flip and land it onto the um, iceberg here to get the point. So what will we be learning today? Here are some of the concepts we'll be learning. We're learning how to calculate the horizontal, vertical speed and position. Uh, so th that means how, how, how far and how fast uh, the penguin will be jumping up into the air and landing to the other side. And we will be using repeat until loop. Um, this is just, just a, a loop that we can use to make things uh, do something over and over again. We'll be learning a broadcasting message, uh, basically uh, sending message from one sprite to another. And also we'll be uh, learning about pointing the uh, object uh, towards something. Um, this is basically uh, the object is point to the, let's say the penguin, uh, the arrows point toward the penguin and you can move the arrow or the arrow is pointing to the mouse, those kind of uh, functionality. And also we will be learning to use random and we will be using some custom blocks. So this is a user defined code, the blocks that you could make up um, a bunch of different code to form a uh, single function and they could be reused over and over again in the, in the, in the code. And we will be learning about uh, sensing, uh, touching the color, uh, uh, this will be the uh, sensing like the penguin touched the ice, iceberg and it will land it. So we'll be checking the color and also learning about broadcasting message between the sprite and how to change the broadcast. Like one broadcast go to the next, the sprite will do something or will uh, broadcast something, then the other sprite will do something. So this is kind of the basic, uh, the some of the things we'll be learning about the game. So uh, before I do that, let me kind of show you how the game actually works. So here's the uh, sample game. As you can see, we I added something as, uh, else also, the fish that kind of jump up and down between the block, the ice block, you, the penguin is standing on, and the iceberg. So the fish is kind of go up and down. The fish is the bonus uh, point, so you don't actually have to get the fish. You can land on the iceberg without getting the fish. But if you get the fish, then you get more points. So as you can see right now, 10 lives and zero uh, score. So as if I move the, the arrow um, uh, closer to the penguin, that means you know the, the gap is less right between the, uh, um, the penguin and the, and the arrow. So the, the, the distance he will jump is less. And if I move uh, lower, the, the, the height is also less, right? The gap, the vertical height is also less between the penguin and the arrow so it will jump less. So if I move it higher, the penguin will jump higher. And if I move it further, the penguin will jump further. So the, basically we're trying to find a gap between the arrow and the penguin. So let's say if I do this, right, let's say right here. So as you can see, so the penguin flipped and he landed on the iceberg. So uh, once he landed on the iceberg, he gets some points. So uh, the fish I think is 50 bonus point. And if you land on the iceberg, you get 10. So it doesn't matter. You can have anything you like. So let me try again. So if I land it, you see, again, I get uh, the fish and the, and the point on the uh, I, uh, iceberg. So let's say if I miss, oh, let's see. Oh, I got it again. It's cannot. Okay. Let me try it harder. So like if I put here, right? So the penguin will jump really far and very high. So probably he's going to miss this time. So let's see, you see that? So he missed. 
So he missed, then you don't get any point. Let's say I do lower here, right? He fall into the water, also you don't get any points and you will lose your life. So we will try to uh, kind of jump the penguin and without losing your life and get onto the iceberg. So this is kind of the point of the game. So as you can see, so every time you make it over, so you get, see, you get 10 points. So I did not catch the fish this time, so I get 10 points. And you want to keep the fish between the iceberg and the, uh, the block that the penguin is standing on. So we'll be working on this game today. All right. Be sure to click on like, share, subscribe, and click on this notification bell to receive all the latest update from this channel. Thank you. All right, guys, so we'll begin the uh, programming this uh, game called Penguin Flip. So uh, let's rename this. OK, so this is a uh, Penguin Flip. I call it two because I already have Penguin Flip. So I don't want to confuse that. So let me kind of zoom in a little bit here. OK, so before we begin, we need to create some variable to help keep track of this game. So we'll go creating a total of uh, six variable, H gap. So this is the horizontal gap between the penguin and the uh, arrow sprite. And then we're going to make one called H speed. So, so this one will calculate the speed, uh, how fast uh, the penguin will move horizontally. Next, we'll create one called V gap. This is the vertical gap for the uh, between the penguin and the, the arrow sprite. And we'll make one more call V speed. So this is the vertical speed that the penguin will be traveling up. And we'll make one more call uh, lives. So this is the number of lives the penguin have. Let's make one last one. This one will be score. So we'll keep track of the score for the penguin. OK, so my variable, we don't really need it. So we can delete that. So uh, this one, you know, you can show, click on the checkbox to show up, or you can uncheck it to hide it. Uh, for debugging purposes, like let's say you do something wrong in your code and you want to see what's going on, you might have to have it check. Uh, but for now, let's kind of remove this for now for us. So if we actually run into an issue, we'll try to take a look at that. So maybe we'll put the score on this side and the live on this side. So we have six of our variables that we're going to keep track of. So next, we're going to draw the backdrop. So the backdrop is we're going to kind of draw the ocean or something. So we'll go to here. And then we'll click on this here. And then we can check the field. Uh, what we can do is we can use the one here on the middle here. This kind of feel like the top is like a little bit darker and then bottom will be a little bit lighter. So we can do like two sets of color on the same same uh, field. So for this, uh, the left, left side, we'll click on the left side first. This is the top portion. Uh, we'll try to make it blue. So let's see, try to see a uh, 60 maybe. It doesn't really matter uh, which one it is. Uh, try close enough should be good enough. So we're trying to try to make this here. Kind of make an even number. It's kind of hard to get to 60 exactly. 62 is fine. Uh, we'll make this brightness about here. All right, 87. So this is darker blue. So. And then this side will make it lighter. So this will will make it like maybe uh, 57. This a little bit. 35 and 100. So this is a little bit lighter. So now we kind of have a dark feel and a light feel. And maybe we'll take this out. We don't want the outline. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a rectangular box. Oops, it fills up all my thing. OK. Hmm. 
So I made a mistake over here. So I should have drawn the box first and then changed the color because that kind of messed it up when I moved to the box. It's trying to it change it to back to solid. So that's one mistake I did. So hopefully you guys will not make this mistake. Let's draw the box first actually. So we're gonna draw the box. We're gonna try to put it all the way on top, drag it out. So we'll cover the whole screen. Now we will fix this. Now we'll go to the fix the color now. So earlier I messed, kind of messed that up. Now we'll, we'll try to fix it. So we'll go 61, 85, 87. Here we'll use uh, 57 or something. It's a little hard to uh, drag this out the way that you want, but uh, something close enough should be okay. Okay, all right, here we go. So now we have this this fill color. So you see the top piece is a little bit darker blue, and the bottom piece is a little bit lighter blue. So it's kind of make it a two two color background, like a fill. Okay, so next. So we have the color done, right? So now we're gonna draw the ocean piece in the bottom. So make it a little bit darker color. So we'll try to use the same color as the uh, as this uh, this this here, this this dark side. So 61, 85, 87. We'll try to do something similar. So we're gonna draw a little bar down here. Gonna extend this out a little bit. So now we kind of have the ocean floor. So we'll have 61, 85, Yep, it automatically selected for us. So we are good. So we're done with the background with the sky and the ocean. Okay, so next we're going to have to draw this ice block. So um, what we can do is we're going to create a new sprite. Click here, click on this paint. This will create a new sprite for us. So here, uh, what we can do is we're going to select the color. So for white color, we have to bring this to zero, bring that saturation to zero, and make that to 100. And be sure to click uh, no outline so that you could get the uh, white box. So as you can see, I'm trying to put it in the middle, right here in this little square here in the middle, right? So now I have my uh, white box. Uh, this is the ice block that uh, we will put the uh, penguin on. Okay, and we can rename this to ice block. Okay, so the penguin has an ice block to sit on or stand on. We'll move it somewhere maybe here on this side here, floating in the water. Okay, all right. So next, we will work on the iceberg. So we're going to draw an iceberg as well. All right, so we are going to draw the iceberg now. Um, what we can do is I'll right click on this and duplicate. So we'll put it somewhere here. Okay, so this iceberg here, we'll rename it to iceberg. Now inside this iceberg, we are going to change it a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. Don't change the height, just changing the width. Okay, we're going to move it to the middle here. So next we'll draw the line. So for the line, we're going to increase this to maybe three. And we're going to, we will go into change the color of the line, make it, um, let's say 60. And then this is, we'll put it at 75, maybe 75, 76. And we'll do 100. So now we have this good, nice blue line. So we will draw the line up and down. So every time you draw, you see a little little dot. We try to connect those. So what we can do is this: you start from the base here. So you draw the line up. You see this little dot connect down, down a little bit. Draw the line up again. See little dot connect down again. So you try to make a shape of a little eyes. It doesn't really have to be perfect. And down again. And one more. And 
then down again. Okay, so now we're going to connect this to in here. So now we have a little eyes, um, eyes broke kind of thing, right? I think my line is not really straight. So let me see if I can undo that last piece. So, oops. So I'm going to change it back to three. I don't know how it changed back to one. So sometimes they do mess that up. So let me do my line again. Gonna go on a little bit further, a little bit. Because I did not do it to the end over here. Okay, now if I want to connect these two lines straight, you can click on this and hold down the, hold down the, what do you call it, the, um, the shift key. And then let's see, we can connect this. Okay, all right. So good enough, right? A little bit slanted. I think I did a better job on my first uh, when I made the game. So anyway, so as you can see, you can kind of connect them all. So let's, now let's go to fill. So we're going to fill it with a different color. Inside, maybe we can fill it with a lighter color inside. So here we'll do the uh, fill. So maybe we'll do 60. We can just fill solid. Let's say 60 maybe. 60, 61, um, 75. And we'll do 70. Okay, so here, okay, we can say fill, right, and the outline, we can go back, click on this, you can change the outline to a different color, but um, whatever color you like. You can have like two colors as you can see inside is darker, outside is lighter, but if you want it lighter inside, we can change that. Maybe we can do something brighter here. This will be lighter, right? So we'll fill it again. So you can see the, the so just play around with your color, whatever you like. So, um, but, uh, so we have two color. So this one outside, we can click on this and then you can change it to a different color if you want. So this one, um, maybe we can change it to a little bit darker here. Okay, I'll go down a little bit. Okay, so we have a darker blue and a lighter blue, right? Okay, so now we have done the uh, iceberg. So we have both the ice block and the iceberg, right? So let me, um, so next we'll go on and work on getting the penguin and the, uh, the, um, the arrow sprite next. So uh, we'll stop right here for right now. So um, we'll continue on the next, next lesson.